What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back to Ashen as the journey continues on into the weekend. Making our way over here to the Bronze Mire, and we're going to go hunt this Romar thing. So, looking at our quest, we got the Romar first. That seems to be the closest. Uh, from there, we'll try and do the Oz quest. Knuckles is a pretty pretty far deep in. Uh, Flokiris is kind of close. Silurens is kind of close, and then Mara's over there. I think I'll probably save hers for last. Um, but for now, let's go over here and do this one. So, um, as for entering this area, oh, there's Andy over there. Let's uh, jump across to here. Side frames. And that was really reminiscent of like ganking somebody and having them just start panic rolling and you're just R1ing and that you have more stamina than they do, so they die. And I kind of feel bad for the, the NPC there. Um, where was it? There was a treasure assault over on that platform. I don't know if I can. Here. No! Oh, oh, ha, we don't sing. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. What is that weapon? That looks so cool! Oh man, two large Scoria stashes? That's 20,000 in the bank. Oh, what is going on with my weapon? What is the, maybe it's, I don't know if it's the upgrade, because I'm up to, what now? I'm up to six, but... that I put on? Maybe it's just because I think it's an upgrade level because hers kind of has the same shiny blue. I guess as you upgrade weapons they just become shinier maybe. Um, oh, all these hidden goodies. Sapien root. Need some of the big boy sapien roots that I can use to upgrade this to the final tier. I want to say plus seven was the final tier. Rock monsters? Some Romar? Tried to kick me. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Run! Run! Okay, so these things are slow, but Jesus. Like Optimus Prime just hit me. Oh boy. Right, got our room mark on. So quest one is done. Next, I wanted to do, what was it, Elias? Just follow the path to get over to her. I kind of want to see what's over here. Besides Romarge, does this lead up to the, it does. Game in, let's get this little guy. I can't wait to be done this playthrough. Um, not because I'm disliking it, obviously, but I do want to uh, play through this again, but as a stream title. I like with viewers, I think I'd have a lot of fun doing that. Like, cause there's the dungeons and stuff that I didn't explore, and I I think with the point I'm at in the game, I mean I'm, I'm obviously gonna finish all of the the uh, Corsa. Come on, Corsa, come on. Uh, I'm gonna finish the quests that I'm on, and I'm gonna finish the main story, obviously. But I don't remember exactly where the cave that I like was starting to explore was at. Um, and so I think one thing that could be a lot of fun to do would be to save the the in-depth cave exploration for when I'm streaming it and do it like with viewers, you know, experiencing it for the first time together. I think that could be a lot of fun. But maybe not. I mean, if you guys really want me to go back and do those caves, I think part of the problem is I think I'm so strong now that I'm not sure if it would even be the same experience. 
coming up on his. So let's just do it since we're right over here. Um, I mean, with, with having a plus six weapon, I feel like I would go to those caves and I would promptly just destroy. Like, everything there would die. This is deep enough for you to drown. Oh, oh no, I don't want to fight crab in the water. Please, be alone, Mr. Crab. Ash infused rumbling club. That's a thing that, uh. One hander, two hander. It's a two hander with really high damage. Curious on the moveset of it. It's like a throw. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot, the heavy attack on that. Boom, boom. Really anime. Oh, that's cool. It's really cool. Alright, let's go get Lyra. Oh, is she dead? That's it right there. Oh no. Was I bait? Did they bait me in? My weapon is too strong for y'all to stand a chance. Get the fuck out of here. We killed an innocent girl. Gonna learn today. bone partially overtaken by a foregone fungus or something unsettling insidious even about how alive it feels to touch you can truly appreciate the legs until you're gone here dude i really hope that's not his little sister's leg that's messed up um let's go back so i think i can follow the path through to elia's and man i'm knocking this area looked huge but i'm just kind of like boop -a doop -a doo going through and knocking things out Beefy boys. <laughs> that stun, it looked like it was dancing. That was funny. Oh, who the? Definitely just hit you with that. Come here. There's like clipping. I'll get I'll get his ass later. Let me go um yeah, I wanna go back into the city. Sorry, Rock Rhino. I'm not here for you. strong like, like strong enough that it feels kind of imbalanced to be honest um which is crazy because there's a, an upgrade level beyond this and the big thing on tap was the I guess the best way to describe it, with as much damage as I'm doing, it reminds me of like when you first get into New Game Plus on Dark Souls, but you're going like you know, you're you're in the first zone, but with your plus 15 weapon, and you just demolish everything that has a pulse.
is where I was first at. Yeah, I jumped across that gap, so I could have speared over here and then taken an upper path, kind of how I am now. Anywhere? Thousand Scoria. If I can find the upgrade material, I can definitely max my weapon. Sitting on 15, and I got another 40,000 uh, items that are banked. Yeah, Corey. I'm really curious on the experiences of other people playing this. Like, is it is it just the particular setup I have of like reduced stamina costs along with an upgraded weapon, along with the Ukoto mask that's just turned me into this offensive god, or you know, does the game just really kind of? Because I mean, up until now, I feel it's been. Well, the scaling's been pretty balanced, you know, even the last zone, like, going up against those, uh, the explosive spear guys, those things did a lot of damage. And comparing that to now, I mean, given I got new armor, and I got passive health regen on now, but I feel like I'm really, I guess up until now, I don't feel like I've been steamrolling, and right now, like, if you were to just turn in to this episode starting right now you'd be like yo what is easy playing this fucking game on easy because that's what it looks like it looks like i'm just blitzing through i mean i have health regen i'm murdering everything i'm perma stunning everything i'm still enjoying it but I'm like you know tempted to use a less like part of me wants to use a lesser weapon to bring back some of the challenge and then another part of me is like fuck that you earned this weapon you did you did the work for these upgrades not downplay yourself up from behind this oh, the Laurentian war axe let's take a look at this nice slick R1s I think it looks like it had it had the potential to be really good. What's the uh, 18 for it? It's probably really high damage. I'd have to. Stuns. The R1 stuns are silly. <laughs> I did all that, the number calculation. And given I have what's based on the, the weapons that I had in that spreadsheet, this is the strongest R1 spam weapon in the game. I basically turned myself into a Dark Sword user, but an Ashen. That's that's the equivalent of what I'm doing. Feel slightly disgusted with myself, but at the same time, feels good to experience their power. Join the dark side. Get up high, though. Get up high. Start our climb at here, maybe. There. He's a big boy. <laughs> Any more twin roots? Must be 
really tucked away. Or they could be in that dungeon, that dungeon spot where I was like, yeah, I don't know if I want to go through it. See, that's, that's what you get out of the optional dungeons is the final upgrade materials needed for god tierness. And we're already god tier. Just, oh, climb on that. And was canvas sheet didn't really expect to, but just it got me as a surprise. Fashion Hook Club. This thing looks cool. Oh, you hook it in and then you rip it out. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Alright, you got some really badass weapons late game, it looks like. When we figured out how we were supposed to get up here, there was a... There, you could probably just barely see this and you had to kind of finagle one in. Or we could go from this way. I love how there's multiple routes. So from over here... And from here, you can... No, really, you can kind of see it, but it would be a hard hard toss to get. So instead of that, here, and then here, or you could take, I, I very much took a path that I don't even think was intended. And I was like, I'm just going to climb up this thing and make it work. Which is cool that you can do that. Um, are you Cory? We're looking for Cory. Cory? Like a little bitch. Fellow should be close. Okay, I can follow. Looks like I can follow this. Follow the road around. I follow the road around, and I'll re-enter that area where Corey's at. Guarding something in there, friend. Here you are. Sapient root. Damn, I, those are dropping like candy now. Oh, they just, did you just kill my companion, bro? Fucked up. Oh boy, bunch of stuff. Come on, boys, let's go. a shortcut path to get back here. You just run straight through the mire. Give me the rock lobster dance. There it is. Yeah, so you could probably spawn and just run straight through the bronze mire and get over here. The area did look so much bigger than it actually is. Ooh, I see enemies. Let's go over there and see what they... The garden. What are you guys garden over here, huh? Oh, okay. Hey there, friendo.
sapien root it seems. Oh. You lonely that I beat up all your friends and not you? Candy. That's about all of it. All right, let's go. Let's go do this. This is the final quest here I have, besides uh, Geffen, I believe. Check. After me. Oh, oh, Jokel. That's where we're. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I missed one. Really, dude? Been on time, 20 minutes. Coming up, and then Jokel's is right behind hers. Okay. I think I can get these both done. And that way we can save uh, Geffen for the next part. Well, I don't know. I mean, on the other hand, though, I have I've knocked out like maybe about half of this area. Looks like I do have a second half of it. I mean, the smart thing would be to get my companion back, and there's there. I don't have any twin sapien roots though. See if I can find this core. If I get, fuck it, I'm gonna go for him. If I get overwhelmed. This seems like the kind of area I'm gonna wanna have a companion with me. How do we get up top to beat them up? guys climb up there I don't know if I can do it while they're all throwing shit at me oh here we go Do you guys want to play like that? I can play like that. Let's go. Oh, I pressed my block, but I was a split second too late. All right, well, since we finally died, let's go ahead and wrap this one on up. We know that we can just sprint across the mire to get back here, uh, and we'll knock this out at the beginning of the next episode. So stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys with another Saturday part in just a little bit.